Finally, the application for IASC Bangalore 2023 have been started. Yes, there are four channels, JE Mains, JE Advanced, NEET UG and ISER Aptitude Test. These are the four channels. I have already made a detailed video about these channel and admission. Now, in this video, I will show you how you have to register for this uh, in this portal. There are two steps for application. First is the registration in which you have to make sure you put correct mail ID. And second one is completing that registration form and payment of the fees. In this video, I will show you in detail how you have to apply for ISC Bangalore admission for UG, which is four year BSc program. For BTEC in Mathematics and Computer Science, it will be started later, which I will update you whenever there is any official notification. Okay, now let's go to the computer and I'll show you in detail step by step how you have to register. Hi everyone, today I will show you how to apply for IC Bangalore. Uh, you just have to go to IC Bangalore website for any of the admission. Okay, uh, I am going to tell you about UG in this video. So you go to admissions and announcement section. While going to announcement section, you need to go to this and you will get this whole PDF details about the admission process. You know, what are the eligibility criteria? What are the uh, methods? Uh, through which you can apply means advanced NEET UG ICER aptitude test 2023 and then what are the fees and application started on 3rd of the March right so as I said just go to ic.ac.in website then go to apply online admissions you go to apply online you go here you see for PG PG and here it is for UG okay uh, BSc research program UG if you click more info you will again get this page this page but uh, you have to apply online apply now you just have to apply here there are two steps step one is to register and second is if you have already registered for uh, you know btech and bsc program four year programs at ic bangalore then you need to use your application number or email id and then password finally do it so first we will register because we have not registered yet so name of the candidate let me write Vivedi. password i will write something I will again enter the okay. I will again. It is asking only letters and numbers, periods are allowed. Okay, so fine. Here also, I will write okay. Date of birth is something I will write here. Okay, candidates mail ID. So we have to write our mail ID. Write the mail ID security question. <laughs> my birthplace I will write. Security answer I will write my birthplace here. Then uh, I will write the captcha which is okay and register. You just have to click register okay and you have to first make sure everything is correct if anything is wrong uh, as they appear in your degree certificate then your application may be rejected right so your date of birth should be correct make sure your uh, mail id is also correct because all the details you will get in your mail id only okay you will not get anywhere else so make sure everything is correct confirm you you will also get you know confirmation mail from ic bangalore once i confirm so this is all everything is correct i will confirm it and uh, yes okay i have confirmed it i have been registered now i will get go to the home of this portal see i came back to home click here apply now let me check my mail id okay <laughs> sometimes it also goes to the spam folder so let me check the spam folder nothing is here yes i got this mail id here uh in mail that email verification of ic bangalore okay so they are basically trying to verify if you have put the correct email or not thank you for registering to portal uh, to complete the registration you must verify your email i will click here to verify thank you you your mail has been verified click here to login okay again we came back to the same page anyways so yeah this is the mail uh if you level link does not work this is for if you have any problem write to this okay everything else is done they basically wanted to verify the mail 
and see registration confirmed so i am already registered i can log into the website and start the online application so as i said i am already registered i have got my application number or you know mail uh, mail id and password so i will put the mail id whatever i had put there and i will put the password that i had put there i will log in here and login okay see and now here you need to choose which program are you applying for are you applying for bsc the research program or you are applying for btech in mathematics and computing if you choose this see this this second option you cannot choose yet because this has not started yet when it will start i will let you know okay i will make a video on this for now this has started if you click here you will go here which is blocked why is it blocked so if you click here bachelor of science research program finally the application form has opened see please read the admission instructions carefully fill the mandatory fields uh fill one page at a time and save your application by save and proceed you can complete uh, application in multiple session finally uh, make the payment and submit it so you know if you are not free if you want to do it in part by part so you can just fill some of the parts then save the application then fill, uh, fill after that and save application like that the details are common page is common across all your applications so yeah okay so basically how many parts does it have it has personal details part then it has details of qualification then it has national entrance test detail like which exam you're coming from and finally preview and submit so all of these things are already filled the things i told my uh, date of birth my name and email address in the registration right in personal details let's say some of you might have filled wrong mail id or let's say wrong date of birth or anything then you can go and register again with your correct phone number correct uh, date of birth but mail id you need to make different mail id that's it you need to make again now personal details put the gender put the nationality put the domicile then mother tongue then category so i am general category sub category none uh, address line whatever address you want to put you can put there okay put the phone number then alternate phone number no phone number okay then you have to upload a photo okay and the photo should be maximum 500 kb and generally 4 cm to 4.8 cm height so that you might have to crop a few times and then upload here a scanned copy of your image your signature has to be attached and your parent and guardian signature needs to be attached how did you come to know about this program now so after all of these details you have to fill the uh, your photo so make sure that your photo is actually within 500 kb and for uh, this you might have to try a few times so here i will choose first my photo and upload yes it is uploaded here similarly i have to upload my signature here i will upload the signature upload my signature is uploaded scanned copy of your parent signature so since i am not you know uh, since i am not uh, going to take admission into sc bangalore so i am just uploading the same file because i am just trying to give you an example but here again you have to try to put the signature of your parent not your own signature okay this is make sure that you are doing correctly okay then how did you get to know about this program so you can select newspaper school my teacher so my teacher you can say okay or anything you can say now coming to the qualifications okay this is the second part of of the step which is all candidates should provide particulars about 10th and 12th who have completed their 12th and 10th and 12th in 2022 are or expected to complete in 23 are only eligible uh, you must have physics chemistry and mathematics uh, other than uh, you know and other subjects as the mainstream then uh, minimum 60% and so basically the qualification is mentioned here the eligibility criteria which i have already told you in this video right now qualification 12th i am uh, i have passed 12th qualification entered wait okay first choose 10th okay and uh, select the year of passing so let's say i pass 10th in uh, uh, 20 20 and uh, my school name was something i will write my school name maharaja school then i will write the 
place Riva. Then I will choose the board which is uh, CBSC. Okay, how much percentage I got? Uh, uh, in tenth I actually got CGP, right? So I got ten CGP. So I chose CGP and ten, and I will save it. And it will, as you can see here, it is it is just written here that tenth data is already entered, qualification entered. Then you will choose twelfth here, which is already chosen. I pass twelfth. If I pass pass tenth in twenty twenty, that means I pass twelfth in twenty twenty two. So here it will be. Uh, again, school name. You can write something. Your place or location. You can write again your location. Then uh, you can write board. Again, I was in CBSC board. Uh, subjects. Uh, how many of these subjects were there? So physics, chemistry, maths was there. Bio was not there, and other subjects were there. Okay. Please specify the subjects. So if you choose others, then you have to specify. If you choose bio, you don't have to specify. So let me say other subjects. So other. I had physical education. Physical education. and i also had uh, english okay what is the status passed already because i passed in 2022 if i choose this for example 2023 those who are going to pass in 2023 so here it will uh, choose select an option passed or appearing so you might be appearing in 2023 if your result is not announced in 2023 you have to uh, write appeared or appearing but if i uh, let let me keep choosing this one okay no issue with that save and uh, update okay uh, so 10th 12th both the data are entered here i will go to next screen which is national entrance exam detail so you have to select see uh, entry status is sa kvpy sa neat j uh, main j advanced either aptitude test okay so here i have to choose which stream i am going to select for either aptitude test exam result for selection uh, selected is the exam declared no it is not declared and it is written here if the results for entrance exam are not declared at time of failing you will be able to update the results later via the update national entrance uh, result option under the login interface please be aware you must update the result within 3 days following the announcement of the result of national entrance test so when the either aptitude test will be announced the result will be announced within 3 days you have to update in this portal and then you have to click and save and but for now there is no update on this right so you can choose no if it is yes if it is yes for example okay it is already chosen no because it is either aptitude let's let's say kvpy sa it is already chosen right so application number entered application number upload uh, the result card and click the save button and if Applicant are not allowed to enter rank. It will be automatically populated after clicking the save button and all that. So here, if you write your application number, whatever your application number was in KVPY SA 2021, and you have to upload your uh, you know mark sheet, and it will automatically rank will be generated. You don't have to tell anything. So you just have to uh, write your application number. Now, uh, coming to this again, so I will be choosing either aptitude test. Let's say if you choose J means again. again it it has told that right now exam result is not announced so you can update later for advanced again you can do it later for uh, kv neat ug again results are not announced so you will do it later i will choose either aptitude test because most of my students here are preparing for either aptitude test i will save and proceed i will save this option as you can see either aptitude test if i choose let's say a uh, kvpy if i put some entry and if i choose a uh, wait If I put the application number, let's say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, sorry, five, six, something. I application number I choose. If I choose file as my own photo, okay, uh, not photo. Let me choose better sign. Then uh, rank will be automatically told and all that, right? If I save this, it is <laughs> showing invalid application number because this was not any application number, right? Anyways, so I will I will not have fun with this. Just choose the either aptitude test. and save this option and it already shows here that through either aptitude test i have applied entry status okay complete uh, ted entry no because it is incomplete uh, it will be completed when you will also do the um, your result right when it will be announced now save and proceed when you save and proceed so here is your application uh, whole application uh, for ic bangalore admission uh, my photo will be there uh this is you have to review this this is a review copy okay this is pre preview basically you have to choose mode of entry for example i have written is either aptitude test application and all that not provided uh it will be done later then uh, educational qualification i have mentioned already here 10 cgpa 12 is not uh, uh, appearing like we are i am still appearing so it is not mentioned the subjects is mentioned here then uh 
okay so my signature is here signature of the applicant and signature of the parent here you have to choose signature of your parent not your own application okay not your own then if i you have to read these terms and conditions that you all the information is correct to your knowledge you have to agree to this and it will show your name application number everything finally pay and submit so when you will uh, pay and submit so it will show you when you click here it will show you multiple options basically how you have to pay so the best and easiest one is you know uh, qr code i would personally say there is upi also bhim upi or qr code so make payment you will uh, have to you know proceed with the payment it will show you the uh, if you click here it you just need to scan here with your cell phone you have to scan this qr code it will automatically go and uh, you know uh, you have to do the payment and it will automatically process it if not qr code you can write here your upi id whatever your upi id uh, upi id is there and it will be done so this is the application will be done and you will get a uh, i told you right uh, just like this preview copy okay just like this you you will get a uh, your application and that you can print or download okay so this is the whole process that's it there is nothing else in this i hope this video was useful to you you can check out our crash course for either aptitude test and nest 2023 examination if you want to prepare in detail all the best